Well, and it's Mexico, so they're, they're Mexicans. <laughs> and it's, and you know, they're typical Mexicans. Mexico, Epic, uh, just the place in itself is really cool. It's a uh, really fun place to go to. Just um, not only the waves, but the, the town there, just the food, the culture, everyone's super cool, really laid back, and uh, it's really hot there, so you know, middle of the day, everyone kind of just chills out, gets in the shade, and um, just one of those places that uh, are really, you know, really memorable. I'm definitely going back there. Smoking right, that uh, kind of bounced off this pile of rocks and um, was just a perfect sandbar down the line barrel. It, was, it, re it re reminded me a lot of, uh, of Snapper or, or Kira, but um, right in a way, you know, it was, it was almost better than Snapper and Kira. The condos is sick, you know, really good, you know, Mexican surfers, the Mexican Federation, all the surfers, it's good for our surfing, it's good for everybody surfing, it's good for, it's just really good, you know, for surfing in general. Probably tubes I've seen in the contest. And I wasn't, wasn't expecting much from the spot. I heard a lot about it, um, but sometimes just can't really believe the hype. Así te llevo a rola la ola. The wave's incredible. I mean, by far, this is one of the best surf I've probably ever surfed. I mean, I've surfed waves pretty similar to it, but still, there was that much more perfection there. I mean, pretty like, you know, you surf backdoor and it's perfect barrels, but then there you don't have the wall running. Or you surf a place in my house, it's barrels running with a wall, but didn't have like a barrel like that. You know, I mean, it's, that was some of the best stuff I've ever surfed. I kind of knew there was going to be swell, you know, you'd see it down the, you're driving down there, and uh, when you come over the hill and you just see the point, you're just like, oh, here we go again, like, it was just like deja vu, every day the swell was just up, you know, there's like six days of swell in a row, and every day was just pumping, every time you come over that point, you just see a guy on a wave just sitting in the par barrel, just, you know, really good waves, it was sick.
five stitches in my hand and had to make the decision whether to go or not. So I ended up going. And lucky for me, the waves are pretty good. But I had, you know, I had stitches, so I had to keep the water out. So I had a couple of surge, couple of surges, and I had to bandage fingers together and I was kind of a bit of a makeshift thing. But um, once I was up and riding the waves, it was all right. And you know, the waves were so perfect. It was just I only had like a little pink or yellow glove coming out of barrels all the time. But um, yeah, no, I was. You know, I'm too sick of another act of probably that's one of the best lives I've ever had. The Conseil out there was pretty wild, it was pretty cool because it was a place that was, you know, 10 years ago I wasn't really surfed too much and then now uh, we're having a WCT there, it was pretty wild and uh, the waves we got during the event were just amazing. The first five days were pretty much like the best it's been in, in like, I guess, in 10 years, whatever, for how long we've been surfing it. So uh, the first sessions I've had there were just amazing. There's some, some of the gnarliest, longest, funnest I've had in my life and uh, I was just blown away by how perfect and uh, how hollow and just being front side, being a right and all that just made it that much more sweet. I remember the way that Taj got was just incredible and it's just, you know, he got like three or four crazy barrels in the last barrel he just pulled into and just disappeared, you know, and the thing just grew and grew and just got hollow and hollow and he just come flying out the end and it was one of those ways where you just can't write anyone off no matter how deep they are. This morning, that morning, I was standing on the beach with my trunk still, no wetsuits, and my trunks and I seen Ty just get this crazy barrel, just I ended up like three or four barrels on the wave and the last one was just really thick and, uh, and nice and just snuck out the doggy door. There's an event in Mexico. I was, you know, I was ready to go down there. It's close to home, warm water. You know, that's that's always a bonus to me. I hate cold water, so uh, going to Mexico, it's nice and warm. Uh, it's close, so there's a lot of good points to go in there.
can't write anyone off, no matter how deep they are. You know, guys, I remember watching Danny Wilson get away and he pulled in and I wrote him off and then he never popped out. But it was kind of on their game, you know, the ways were good. It was time to, to get rocking, and people were, and that was that was the cool thing. I actually sat and watched majority of the cons, and I never do that. I never did, and I was, I was impressed the whole time.
how that wave and have it really good. Probably the best wave we've had on tour by far this year. And uh, I'd say it's a great place, man. I mean, most mornings there was a bunch of us guys that tried to get down there nice and early to, and then to just to get those clean ones, even you know three or four waves before the crowd had hit. I think there was like Phil Marker, Wilsey, and Dino, and myself. So yeah, we we kind of got got down there most mornings and and try to tuck in a couple of nice little waves. It's just. A, an amazing wave and I, I I don't think anywhere that I've ever surfed that compares to it really. I mean I've I've surfed I've surfed uh, some good burly and Kira but yeah, I think this takes a cake.
Well, basically, I, I, you know, this one morning before the contest, I was out free surfing and, uh, you know, I, I was pounding this wave. It was kind of like a medium wave, not a big one, but a, a nice medium, nice wave. And I just pulled in the barrel. And I've been wanting to get a long barrel the whole time. I mean, a lot of times I end up just not making it because I stay in the barrel too long. But um, this wave just hit the sandbar perfect and, and stayed hollow the whole way through and um, went a good speed. Lucky enough, just be able to sit there and butt drag the whole wave, come off the butt drag, get back on it, and uh, just. You know, I had the foam ball catch me a few times, give me a little sideways, but uh, other than that, the wave just just hit the sandbar perfect. I didn't really have to do much and just kind of was went along for the ride, and uh, I just stoked to catch that wave. That was a really good one, so it was, it was fun.
thing is that wave, as big swells just keep coming through, that wave will just get shallower and shallower um, until the swell goes away, then the sandbar will just get screwed. But all those swells are big, that wave just, the swells just groom it out and screw that sand and make it perfect. And uh, we got back there for the event and it was just unreal, just the perfect sandbar, a really good sized swell for the spot and uh, the guys are just ripping everywhere.
everything at you. It threw a really nice barrel at you. Um, some really good places to do, you know, just insane snaps and some critical maneuvers in, in critical, critical parts of the wave. And I believe you have a mission for me. Taylor Knox really was on fire the whole contest, so it was pretty impressive, even though I know he's, you know, one of the best servers in the world and probably one of my favorites. So, I don't know, Andy blew up the final in the big air. There's highlights all throughout that event. The guys are good. Taylor Knox has been fun the whole event. Like, his turns and the power he's put into his turns are just. Unreal, so it was fun to watch him. I thought he was one of the best servers of the event. was epic. Um, before that, I've only had a couple thirds and fifths and stuff. So to uh, you know to win in Mexico, and uh, I think I, I got up in the second of the range, felt really good, and um, get back in the hunt, and uh, just to win in such a coolest place. You know the waves are so good. Everyone's talking about it long after the contest. And everyone's still talking about it to this day, and uh, it's just uh, it's, it was a really good win for me. It was real memorable, and uh, yeah, I'm really stoked that I won that one. Thank mm -hmm. you. 